She was suffering from arthritis and uh, had two strokes, suffering from the complications of that. So didn't really get to enjoy this house very much. Um, but a person of Frederick Douglass as well, especially in his later career, because uh, she's an activist just like Frederick Douglass. She's working uh, on behalf of the women's rights movement. She's writing in old, it's really the most intimate room in the entire house. Um, you see his hats, his canes. Uh, his book collection. So there's about 200 books on display there. Uh, Frederick Douglass owned about 2,500 or more books. Um, so you can really tell how important education was for him. Are these like original books? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Man. And so. So this right here is a music box. Mm -hmm. Frederick Douglass really loves music, um, and we'll actually. So this picture right here is like an interpretation of John Brown. All right, so. All right, so in this side of this uh, room over here behind you, all can step up to the bank. Grandpa in here, letting his grandkids ride on his back and braid his hair. Um, they love to sing and dance in here. And if you look on top of the piano, you'll see a violin. Frederick Douglass actually taught himself how to play the violin, and he passed on that love of music down to his grandkids. The one that's there actually belonged to his grandson, Joseph, who grew up to be a war. If you actually look, um, you really would have stepped inside this room and had a chance to reflect on how much wealth the siege had accumulated over his lifetime. So I talked about the wallpaper. Um, it's interesting because it's kind of a subtle hint about how much money he was making at the time. Um, if you look up, you'll see wallpaper on the ceiling, a border, a picture rail. Right it's called a picture rail because the pictures hang on it and you didn't want to ruin your wallpaper, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and a full wall of wallpaper that is going to be essentially different in every room that we go into. Very, very expensive thing to do. Um, and yeah, like I said, take a look at it when we go upstairs. It's really, really beautiful. The china that you see here is collected from Frederick Douglass' travels all around the world. He went to Europe, Africa, the Caribbean. Um, so, still a very in-demand speaker, like I said. $6,700 for this house, but that's actually for the original part of the house, 14 rooms and nine acres. But Frederick Douglass invested a lot in this house because he understands it's gonna be his legacy. Um, and he also wanted it to be a comfortable space for his uh, family to come and visit. So he ends up with 21 rooms and 16 acres. Wow. I'm guessing there weren't a lot of neighbors down below at that time. There was not a lot of neighbors here. Um, very there, and only one of two African Americans actually serve on this committee. So you can tell it's actually very important for an African American like Frederick Douglass to have uh, such high political access at that time period.
is Helen's parents were abolitionists, but her father disowned her for marrying Frederick Douglass. So the issue of race relations. Yes. Okay. Yes, you can watch that. Um, did your tour just let out? Yeah. yeah. 